Hey everybody, I have here the Black Star Fly 3 Charge. This is the latest version of the Fly 3 amp series from Black Star. It's been almost a decade since the first version of this amp has been released and they're quite known in the guitar community. I've never tried one of these until recently when the need of something like this manifested. And I'm so in love with this amp that I've decided to share my experience with it like how and why I bought it. So this is gonna be like a more talk than a play video. If you're looking for an in-depth feature slash sound review, then this might not be the right video for you. So I was looking for a small nice sounding amp to plug and play in the living room and to take to outings and trips. I looked on the internet and this kept popping up. I watched some videos on YouTube and the guys are still comparing this to the most recent stuff from the other brands. And in each video, this sounded like it was holding its own, which was a little odd to me. And I was like, the Fly 3 is old now and the newer stuff should be better. And guess what guys, I was completely wrong. So I got a Boss Katana Mini from Guitar Center and I played it, I liked it until I pushed the volume a little bit and the speaker started hissing and making a weird noise had to take it back for replacement and they didn't have any in stock. And there was that nice looking Yamaha THR with the app and Bluetooth and everything. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's go fancy. I couldn't get along with it. I find myself messing around with those amp slash cab combinations trying to get a decent crunch tone. And I just couldn't get it. I couldn't get the sound that I wanted. Wait, wait. I'm not saying that the THR is a bad amp, okay? It was just too much for me, a lot of tweaking, it offered a lot of features and possibilities that I simply didn't need. Actually, my overall experience with the THR helped me realize how the Bluetooth option can be so useful in a practice amp, especially if I wanted to jam over backing tracks. It also helped me polish my ideas and make up my mind on what I wanted exactly. And what I wanted was a basic, user-friendly, nice sounding amp with Bluetooth. So the THR had to go back and the guy at Guitar Center suggested that I try the Black Star Fly 3 and they only had the basic version with no Bluetooth. I was not gonna take it, but I just wanted to see how it sounds. So he hands me the amp and man, it was so small and was like, okay. I plug it into a cheap Squire Telecaster and surprise. <laughs> So you just heard my American Pro Strat plug directly into the Fly 3 on the overdriven channel. Let me actually show you the amp setting that I was using. Here we go. And the delay level knob is at 2 o'clock in case you guys couldn't see it. So now let's try some clean. So I'm gonna just switch the channels. I'm not gonna touch any of the knobs. Okay, bridge pickup. <laughs> I'm gonna push the gain a little bit, I mean a little bit more to see how it breaks up. I didn't mic it or use the emulator output because it's not the type of amp that I would use for recording. I just used my lav mic hoping you guys can have an idea how it sounds in the room. 
And yeah, I think it's time to go back to Guitar Center. I was like, are you serious? The thing came tweaked out of the box and I was able to get useful sweet tones after I messed with only two knobs for only two minutes. It was actually hard for me to make it sound bad and I just got obsessed with it right away. I started looking for the Bluetooth version and that's how I found out about this guy. So this is the latest one. It came after the Bluetooth version and it is the same as the basic one that I've tried in Guitar Center sound-wise and everything except for two extra features. So now you have a Bluetooth so that you can connect your phone, listen to your music or jam over your backing tracks and as you can see there's no more battery compartment on the back of this one because it is powered by a built-in rechargeable battery via USB which is supposed to last for 18 hours. So no more power adapter needed and no more spending money on batteries. So if any of you guys looking for a headache free portable amp then I think you should check out this little guy. This is not a toy and I don't think it should be underestimated for its size or any other reason. The build quality is just nice, nothing feels cheap to me and the thing delivers. I'm actually still wondering how can it be they were able to stuff such nice stones in such a little box and this was like 10 years ago. Of course you're not gonna get the warmth of a $2000 tube amp or crazy tight responsive bass out of this. This is a 3 watt solid state practice amp. I didn't talk about the basic old features such as the delay or the extension speaker possibility or go over the sounds because there's plenty of videos about that. And as I said in the beginning of the video I just wanted to share the experience with the amp and how it ended up being one of my best 2022 purchases after I looked down on it. And I also wanted to give it some more exposure on YouTube because to me it seemed like not a lot of people know about this version yet. In fact when I looked for it on YouTube there was only one Japanese review with no subtitles and I wasn't able to understand it. I bought this guy brand new from Sweetwater for $130 before taxes and so far I think it's worth every penny. I think that's it guys, enough talking. Thank you so much for watching, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video and feel free to ask any question in the comment section. Thank you, see you next time.